here and in today's video i'm going to be doing another dark web mystery box decent in weight got a four camera setup that's camera one this is camera number two the gopro is camera number three and camera number four is this dji pocket two i have the label on the package which i usually remove before the dark web mystery boxes but i shouldn't tell you guys this now if you guys have seen these videos already we're going to be using a champagne colored swiss army knife and for the people that know yep i'm a huge fan of swiss army I have almost almost all of their knives but go ahead and just look at that glide i opened the box before i took off the label so i'm gonna be doing lots of blurring but i'm gonna go ahead and take off the label just now so i haven't started the mystery box i just took off the labels and i'm about to show you guys what's inside the dark web mystery box let's go ahead and let's get it started Okay, <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, on the flap, it says password 0103. And that's what the first look of the inside of the box looks like. A monkey inside here, a gorilla. It says RIP, it's Harambe, Harambe, Harambe. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but oh, we have a mask here too. Okay, we have lots to do. I'm gonna first get started by taking this mask and disposing it in the trash. There's a lot to unpack here in this dark web mystery box. I noticed Dybbuk boxes. I see a Dybbuk box and another Dybbuk box. I see a key wedged to this Dybbuk box. But the first thing that caught my eye was the gorilla that had RIP on it. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a definite indication to Harambe. Harambe. If you guys don't know who Harambe is, if you guys heard the story a few years back, I don't know what year just flashed up on the screen, but there was this three-year-old kid. He was at the zoo with, you know, everybody else. And this kid asked his mom if he can go sit with the gorillas his mom was like no and then his mom went back to like texting or whatever the hell she was doing and then basically that kid like snuck into the enclosure got trapped with this gorilla there was kind of like a standoff not like a standoff but everybody in the crowd was yelling at the gorilla and the gorilla was really it's actually one of the most depressing saddest videos on the internet to summarize it all up people don't know if the gorilla was being threatening it was defending the child but what ended up happening is they took out harambi harambi is gone ever since that there's been an uproar on the internet about this very topic and i've heard about it i'm sure a lot a lot of people in the comment section have heard about it but the first thing we're introduced to is harambi r.i.p harambi i guess you showed up in a dark web mystery box but we're gonna go ahead and take off harambi r.i.p wow it's a little harambi toy i didn't i mean i'm not surprised that they make this but i didn't even know that they made it to be honest wow look at that harambi the rest in peace to a legend did his legacy really have to end up like inside a dark web mystery box to be sent to this dummy, this clown. But that's an interesting way to get this video started. We're gonna go ahead and pull out paper. <laughs> but we have another paper inside here with marked location on it. We have a set of coordinates, ladies and gentlemen. That's 38.905000 latitude. And the longitude is minus 80 decimal 21.4384. That's the marked location. Ladies and gentlemen, I've gotten coordinates in a lot of dark web mystery boxes. A lot of my packages contain coordinates. However, the fact that it arrived in a dark web mystery box, you shouldn't be traveling to these coordinates. That sounds stupid. Oh, hey guys, let's go travel to these coordinates that arrived in Crypto NWO's mystery box. I'm not condoning any stupid behavior and stupid behavior is going to these coordinates or any other coordinates that appear in any of my videos. So we're gonna be taking these coordinates. Don't go there, do not go there. I know that makes people wanna go there even more, but just don't go to these coordinates. That is stapled, stapled to another paper here. <laughs> this paper says silk. Silk, 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 all the way to the bottom. Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first thing that we had inside the dark web mystery box. We had Harambi, we had a paper that said silk and stapled to that was these coordinates over here. I don't condone anybody going to these coordinates. You know, when you get these items inside a dark web mystery box, don't mind the monkey, but I don't know what the silk, 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 silk thing is indicating. But now here's the problem. I actually just noticed, I don't know if this is a minus 38 because I realized it's ripped right over here. And I just noticed that little, little piece. That longitude and latitude, I don't know if it's 38 or minus 38, I don't really know. But anyways, we're gonna be taking the coordinates and the silk paper and Harambi 
and we're gonna be sticking everything to my left. Everything that goes to my left, I'm gonna be keeping it. It's gonna be staying with me in this house until I give it away for a handout. And for the people that don't know, yes, on this channel, Crypto and WO, we do handouts. We have all these items that appear in the mystery boxes. If you guys want any of these items, simply subscribe to the channel. I can see if you subscribe, check the thing that just flashed up on the screen. But if you guys want any of these items, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, place a comment down below. Anything constructive, you can tell me what you like about these videos or what you don't like about these videos. You can tell me how to improve these videos and how to get you to be possibly engaged in them. Or you can tell me what about this video in particular is keeping you engaged. Let me know in the comment section and you will be automatically introduced into the handout. Some people will ask me, Crypto, how do we know if we want the handout? And plain and simple, I will respond to your comment saying something like this. And the reason why I tell you guys to delete your comment after like I reply to you is because after people realize they haven't won a handout or like some sort of giveaway, there's like some sort of bombarding with the unsubscription button. People get really mad and they start unsubscribing. So I just wanted to like clarify that I do it all privately. I tell people to delete their comment and to contact me via email. I'm gonna be taking all these items and I'm gonna be sticking this to my left. Everything that you guys want, just let me know in the comment section attached to the constructive criticism. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box, I'm gonna pull out this Dybbuk box so we can get introduced to more items. We have a, oh my goodness, that's some really, really brittle, oh my God. Now I've done multiple Dybbuk boxes on this channel. I'm not scared of these things. Some people in the comment section are saying, Crypto, why are you opening these things inside your house? I'm personally not scared of them. I don't really know if there is actually demons trapped inside here, but realistically, I've only seen some really vague things happen. I've only, it's probably been inside my head. Like, you know, after I open them, if I have a nightmare, I'll be like, oh my God, it was probably the Dybbuk box. Or if like, you know, I have bad luck for the next coming days, I'll be like, damn it, I shouldn't have opened that Dybbuk box. But after that, like really nothing really catches on. I don't really pay attention to it. And I don't really think it's a Dybbuk messing with me at all. I don't think it's a demon messing with me at all, to be honest. But we do have a Dybbuk box here. Take a look at that. There's a key wedged within the Dybbuk box and I got the key out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a key inside the Dybbuk box and I don't know what this key is for yet, but look at that. It even left a little like stamp. <laughs> it left like a nice stamp there. Oh, wow. Um, on the Dybbuk box, it says 2009-2009 and you can see the key just completely wedged in there after we pulled it out. Definitely something inside the Dybbuk boxes. What pisses me off about Dybbuk boxes is I've opened tons of Dybbuk boxes. Some that ended up on YouTube, some that haven't ended up on YouTube, and not all of them had something inside. Now, here's the thing. Whether they do or don't have something inside, I always think, should I upload the video? Should I upload the video? But I think it would be kind of disappointing to upload a Dybbuk box video on YouTube if they didn't really have anything inside them. But if you guys want to see them regardless, just let me know in the comment section. I can open this one here. But the thing is, I don't like mystery box videos being super duper long. I don't like them being over an hour long. Like basically, once the video says one colon, in zero zero colon zero zero. I don't click on the video unless it's like a Shane Dawson video or something. I don't know. I really hate one hour long videos. Like, what are you trying to take? Like, movies are 90 minutes long. What are you trying to do with my time, you know? I really, really despise videos that are one hour plus long. They really have to like be bangers. They have to cure everything that I have if they're over one hour long on YouTube. I don't wanna unbox this right now, so I'm gonna save this till later on. And if I do have more time, I'm definitely gonna unbox it within this video. And if not, just stick around for a part two within 48 hours of this video's release. We're gonna be taking this Dybbuk box over here and we're gonna be sticking it to my left, leaving it for later on. Going back inside the dark web mystery box, we will just, We'll, we'll save that Dybbuk box for later. We have a Q-tip here, <laughs> a little ear cleaner. This is really disgusting. Thank God I am wearing gloves right now, you know, because if I wasn't wearing gloves, then people would be screaming at me in the comment section saying crypto put on gloves. But nevertheless, we do have this little ear cleaner, whatever the heck you want to call it. And it says A-N-O-N -N on it. That could be Anon, short for anonymous. Basically, anonymous, anonymous. You know, that mask we see everywhere, the V for Vendetta, which could be a deeper meaning for something else not knowing, but I have no idea. We're gonna be taking this and I don't know if I should stick this to my right for the trash or I don't know if I should stick it to my left because maybe it's a puzzle piece. I'm gonna stick it to my left. Get rid of the wax paper. Oh, wow, okay, okay, we have a, a an eight ball, a magic eight ball. Oh my God, this is a magic eight ball, right? Do I, okay, I might crack open the magic eight ball because there might be something inside here. I don't know, but I'm shaking it right now and I should be asking you a question. But ladies and gentlemen, if you guys know what this is, Everybody knows what this is. Whether you were born in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, everybody knows what a magic eight ball is. This thing has definitely passed the test of time, if you ask me. I've actually never personally owned a magic eight ball. I was not one of those kids, you know? Like, I, I didn't have a slap bracelet. I didn't know how to use a yo-yo. I basically was really weird, nerdy type of kid, but I have a magic eight ball now. Uh, will this video 
get more than 2,000 likes? This is the answer it's giving me. Guys, we have to beat the magic eight ball. Give this video 2,000 likes, at least more than 2,000 likes. If it beats 2,000 likes, then you guys are absolute gems. But by the way, I just wanted to indicate for the handout, the like button does not increase your chances. You can just hit the like button if you genuinely enjoy the videos. If you're enjoying what you're watching right now, you have a smile on your face or you're really interactive, then go ahead and just smash the like button. It really helps out this video with the YouTube algorithm. However, if you want any of these items like the magic eight ball that just appeared in the dark web mystery box, or if you want the Haram toy or anything else for example you can simply just go ahead comment down below and that's all you have to do but you just have to leave something constructive and you have to subscribe to the channel forgot about that i wanted to show you guys with this camera again or i don't know if i did i'm gonna ask one more question is 2021 going to be a great year for everybody watching including me it is certain it is certain. I keep getting a focusing failed message, but it says it is certain on it. So I asked the Magic 8-Ball if we're going to have a great year this year, and it says it is certain. Maybe this video is good luck. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the video is actually good luck. We're going to take this Magic 8-Ball, stick it to my left, add it with the collection of keep. So far, nothing is going in the trash except for all these pieces of wax that came off the Dybbuk box. But the next thing that we're going to pull out of the Dark Web Mystery Box is... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Samsung. Oh, it turns on. Oh, it's on. Oh my God. Oh. Tell me you saw that. <laughs> Tell me you just saw that. The thing just glitched on me and it went black. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Samsung here. Why does it do that? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like flashing. Why does it? Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Samsung here. Look at that, 651. I don't know if that is AM or PM. Wednesday, June 19th. I've had a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I'm, I, I don't know if that was the last Samsung I had. I'm not 100% sure, but that was the, the scariest dark web unboxing I've done. It was recorded on a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Here we go. I don't know what phone this is to be 100% honest, but I know the Edge literally had Edge, like, an, like a weird like edgy thing on it. Literally, Samsung owners know exactly what I'm talking about. It says swipe to unlock. four digit pin, the, the screen is like completely glitching on me. That's not the camera. The screen is legitimately, look at this. What the hell is happening? The screen is, okay, the screen's fine now. Swipe to unlock. It wants a four digit pin. Like I said, every time I do dark web mystery boxes and I get any sort of device that is locked with a passcode, it has a four digit pin on it or a six digit pin on it. If it's a four digit pin, there is literally 9,999 possible combinations to open it. If there is a six digit pin, there is 999,999 possible combinations to open it. This one has a four digit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, your pin contains at least four digits. Okay, no, you see, so if I type in, so it says at least four digits, but if I type in, try to type in more than four digits, it doesn't work. I don't know what the password's gonna be, so I'm gonna take this and stick this to the side. Oh, oh, it says password 0103. <laughs> we're gonna try 0103. If you guys remember, on the dark web mystery box, right when we opened the box, we were introduced to this flap right here, and it says password 0103. We're gonna open it up. Zero, one, zero, three. Oh, we did it, ladies and gentlemen, we got into the Samsung. Oh, we have lots of work to do here. After opening the Samsung, the password was 0103. Let me know in the comment section what I should take a look at the Samsung. I don't know if I should go, I don't know if I can go through all the stuff in the Samsung in one video. First thing, gallery. First thing, gallery, no pictures or videos. That's literally the first thing we're introduced to. No pictures, no videos. The screen's like tripping on me. A NordVPN coin market cap. Check Bitcoin's price. Oh, don't, don't connect to my internet. Don't connect to my internet. Filled to... Okay, it's, it's not connected. Wi-Fi off. Location off. Oh my God. Location off. Bluetooth off. Brightness. Why is the brightness on high? Oh my God. Oh, shoot. Okay, I think I just messed up. I touched the brightness and the screen's tripping out on me. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a Samsung Galaxy over here. I cracked into the Samsung Galaxy. However, I don't want this video to be too long. So let me know in the comment section what I should go through on this phone. Um, I have the passcode and I'm gonna completely, definitely keep this phone to the left. The back is completely demolished. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the problem is with the Samsung Galaxy. I don't know if anybody really wants this in the handout. If you do, go ahead, comment it down below. But we're going to take this and put this to our left. If you guys want to see me review anything in particular in the Samsung, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But right now, I definitely don't want to make the video too long. We can't waste any more time. We're going to go ahead and get this next item out of the dark web mystery box. We've got... 
cups here. We've got kid cups. Baby shark. It says baby shark and it has a bunch of baby sharks on it. <laughs> but we have three of these cups with baby sharks on it and three kids cups. Don't know the significance behind it, but we're gonna take them and I really suck at cup stacking. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box. Oh my sweet Jesus, what the? <laughs> we have a, where's the key? Where is the key? So we have, we had a key here that was latched on top of the Dybbuk box and we have a lock box here that's pretty unmistakably heavy. We're gonna take this, stick it inside. Oh, it goes this way, okay, okay. The key is turning, it's not opening the box. The keys, oh, let's see. No, key turns. I'm wondering why the box is not opening and it's sealed with tape. Honestly, just go in the comment section right now and tell me, Crypto, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> what is that? I forgot to take off the tape. I'm trying to open the box and I'm like, why isn't it opening? <laughs> take the key, twist it. We have a bear, ladies and gentlemen. We have. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm gonna take this and stick this to the right. I'm gonna be throwing this in the trash. Ladies and gentlemen, we literally just got clothing from a dark web mystery box that belonged to a child. Oh my God. As for the weight of the package, we do have more stuff inside there. We have red and black cables. I don't know what that, oh, that smells. Ew, that smells really. I don't know what the heck that is, but that smells really freaking weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a clock in here. Doesn't seem to be moving, but it's currently at 3.52 on the clock right now, I'm pretty sure. AM or PM, doesn't really matter, but this is an analog clock. We had a clock and these red and black wires. I don't know what the heck these red and black wires are for, but we're gonna find out soon. Take all the stuff, stick it to my left. We've got a controller here that says 2020 Corvette Nano Racer that flashes. We have a Corvette inside the mystery box. A yellow Corvette. Tell me this is, I have never seen a car this small. This is like Hot Wheels size. Oh, there's a switch on it. No way. Oh my God. I have a car here. I promise I'm a good driver. I'm just getting used to it. This is really quick for like the size. So straight, make a right, and then make a three point turn. Okay, okay, I promise I passed my driving test in the first try. There's like no speed function. Like this thing literally freaking goes so fast. I'm trying to go slower for the camera. Storm's gonna break this in, in 48 hours. Literally my dog, my husky Stormy, if he sees this on the ground, he will absolutely trip. He hates things that move super quickly on the ground. So what's the point of having it if it's gonna break in less than 48 hours? I'll just give this away to somebody. I'm having so much fun, I'm so sorry. Damn it, ladies and gentlemen, this is what my videos have become. Anyways, that's all for me playing with a little toy car. <laughs> I had way too much fun with that, but the next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box, it's a red JBL speaker. And this is the first, I noticed that this is a speaker right off the bat because I have a pair of JBL speakers, not this small, but I have a pair of bigger JBL speakers. Really recognizable brand, really good brand. I don't know why the back is all like sticky and oily. It smells really freaking weird inside this black thingy, but I don't know, I have no idea. The, black, the back of it's so like sticky, oily, weird. I don't know, it smells so freaking bad in here. I was told in the comment section that some people could actually attack tracking devices to Bluetooth devices. So if you turn on the Bluetooth device, for example, the circuit can also activate a tracking device that has been lodged in here by someone malicious, you know? I've been told that in the comment section and you know, I never believe everything you see on the internet. Oh my God, Ooh, that's nasty. What is this? Oh my God, ew. Oh, it's not focusing, it's like yellow. Oh my God, I got it on my gloves. Oh my God, I have to touch this camera? Okay, I'm gonna change these gloves and I'm gonna dispose this properly. Oh my God. Basically dispose those old gloves and you know, there's this like weird liquid here. I'm gonna examine this liquid ever so slightly. It's like a yellow, wow, that's like freaking nasty. What the hell is that? If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comment section. It's a freaking baby bottle looking thingy with nasty yellow fluid inside. I'm gonna take this and throw this in my trash. We don't need that right now. We had the little JBL speaker that's covered in that stuff. I think everything that comes out of this thing, I'm just gonna take it and throw it in the trash. So this JBL speaker definitely going in the trash. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of here is 
Oh my god, this thing is covered more inside that little liquid. What is that liquid, man? It smells so freaking pungent. But inside that liquid, what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have inside the, the box. It's covered in the freaking, that yellowish liquid too. I want you guys to take a closer look for yourself. I don't know what the hell this is. Chip looking thingy. We have a new chip. I don't know, but look at that yellow stuff. It smells so freaking nasty. I'm just gonna take this and put this to the side over here. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's freaking a little like tech chip looking thingy. I'm definitely gonna put that to the trash because I don't know what the heck that is. Oh my God, these gloves, man. I have to freaking do Okay, after I'm done going through what's inside this thing, I'm gonna throw everything away. Okay, we have a box cutter here, throwing this in the trash. I know some people like crypto, that's a that's a tool, man. You can use that, throw that in the trash. I know somebody's gonna be like, crypto, I really need a box cutter right now. No, you don't. Go to your local hardware shop and go buy a box cutter. Don't ask for that in the handout. That's an illicit substance. We have a compass inside the mystery box. This is a geometry compass, ge geometrical compass. I don't know what the proper term for it is, but compass, a little silver compass. It's covered, of course, in that yellow fluid if you guys maybe can see it maybe not i don't know but it smells really freaking pungent i'm gonna stick this to my right side i don't know um we also have a little container oh my god another container inside here riddled in the yellow substance there's there's capsules inside here or pills inside here I'm not too sure but oh my god what what is that stuff oh that smells so freaking nasty Wow, that smells so nasty. This container. Oh my God. You know what? I'm just going to throw away these gloves after. It's okay. It's okay. You're a man. You're a man. I'll touch the sticky stuff. Ugh. Inside there, we've got blue. Thank God for the GoPro. Oh my God. My gloves are so sticky. They're literally unidentified. Unidentified, they're probably the length of my fingernail. The length of my fingernail, the width of half of my fingernail. Length of a fingernail, width of half of a fingernail, and they are baby blue. I'll give you guys a little close up. I'm not really a medication guy. I'm, I'm more of like letting my body try to heal itself. I'm not saying all medication doesn't work. I'm not saying that at all. I know, I do believe that medication is definitely like a gift to us from the people that developed it. And it's like a miracle if you kind of will think about it, you know? Some people could think of it like that. It could be a genuine like miracle of science, if you know. But like me personally, I do believe that some people went thousands of years without it and you know, here we are today, we made it. That's my belief on it. I, I don't know, I don't necessarily know. I don't want to trust this stuff to make me feel better. I don't know what kind of medication this is to be 100% honest. I don't know if this is an antidepressant. I don't know if this is an anti-inflammatory. I don't know if this is something that's gonna help the chronic cough. I really don't know, but I'm not a fan of it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like knowing that sometimes our body heals itself when it's sick. Nevertheless, we're gonna be taking these blue caps, not capsules, capsules are openable. We're taking these blue pills and putting them back inside this little pill container, closing it up and sticking it to my right. We have a couple more things inside here. We have something that says, no, no. And it has more of a yellow stuff inside it. This thing looks a little bit more technologically advanced, if you ask me. Might be going in the trash because of that stuff. But if not, we'll see what the comment section says. Uh, no, no. like white cap and I pulled it off and on the bottom this is what we're given if I press this button well that's just great thank you for giving me a completely dead oh dope there's another button on the top oh it turns on oh my god oh my god what is this <laughs> it says no no on it if you tap this button uh, we have something here that says no no and it's littered in that really liquidy stuff I don't know what the heck this is but I'll turn it back on again turn it on yeah, so if you turn it on, the top button doesn't do anything anymore, but then this button starts turning it down, and then you're given this little thing on the bottom. I have no idea what the hell this is. We're gonna be taking this, and I don't know, I don't know, it has that yellow sticky substance that's really, really pungent. I don't wanna have this in my house. Uh, we do have one more thing inside this little black box, and there are two little red, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, two little red, things riddled in the yellow liquid. Oh my God, it's getting on my freaking table. The the wax from the Dybbuk box getting on my table. This yellow liquid, yeah, this is a very nasty toxic box. I just wanna get through all this stuff here. Over here it says, it says ballistics on it and 
This thing is absolutely riddled in the yellow fluid. I'll show you guys the other side. If you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comment section down below. This looks like something really, really techy. I am a tech guy, but I'm not like, I don't know, like circuit boards and like connections and I don't know, I don't know. I'm just big on the subject of tech. I just have no idea what the hell these are. <laughs> but maybe these are something I shouldn't know. Maybe this is, maybe not a lot of people know what this is. Let me know in the comment section if you do. That's the thing with dark web mystery boxes. Usually like I'm the person that goes through all the comments with all of my videos and I see that people will literally know what everything is eventually. We're gonna take these and put these to... I don't even know anymore, bro. I don't even know, I don't even know. I'm gonna put this to my right. Time to take off these gloves yet again so I can... Sweet Moses, this smells so bad. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm gonna review this without touching it. We have a pair of, I don't know, I don't know, that looks like something very sharp. I'm not gonna touch it. I don't wanna touch it because I have done touched the inside of this black box far too much. It smells really pungent. It smells really bad. It smells kind of skunky and it smells like a butt. I don't know, to be honest, I have no idea. We're gonna go ahead and get the next item out of the dark web mystery box. Let's get the next Dybbuk box out. <laughs> Nothing inside here. Nothing inside here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I tried to fix a couple of iPods that I got from a dark web mystery box and to fix any iPods, you have to have a heat gun. So I bought a heat gun. I'm gonna save this for later on because I'm gonna get my heat gun and try to melt off the wax off this uh, Dybbuk box. And I don't wanna make a mess right now on my table, even more of a mess. And I'll just get like some sort of paper to put on the bottom so the like wax can melt onto the paper. I'm gonna take this Dybbuk box and stick this to the side for now. Um, we can save it for later. We also have another Dybbuk box inside the mystery box. We have an iPad box inside the mystery box. Ladies and gentlemen, iPad mini. We have an iPad mini box unopened. No freaking way. There is no freaking way. Bruh. No way. There's a, no freaking way. No freaking way. Oh, oh my God, these gloves are leaving marks. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, my gloves are literally leaving marks right now. This is the little, this is the little wrap. Like if I touch it, my gloves are leaving marks. I'm not gonna take the wrap off. This is gonna go in the handout. This is definitely gonna go in the handout as well. If you guys want this, let me know in the comment section down below. Literally, if you want this iPad, you can simply comment down below something constructive, super constructive, and tell me that you want the iPad. And literally, once you get a response from me, this response is gonna look something like this. Again, the reason why I ask you to delete your comment is because I don't want people like stampeding the unsubscription button after they figure out that they didn't get the item in the handout. But there's gonna be, there's only, um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but there's only one iPad that appears in the <laughs> There's only one iPad that appears in the mystery box, so I only can hand out one. But uh, if you guys want it, then simply just comment down below something super constructive. It was completely unopened. It's completely unopened. It's completely unwrapped and unopened. It has, we have the cable, the charger inside here, the charger designed by Apple in California. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is designed by Apple in California, unopened iPad box. The only conspiracy that I have genuinely is I think the people that sell these mystery boxes, the way they make money is they have legitimate mystery boxes where they put actual stuff like this. Sorry, my, my hands are covered in that dust stuff. But they have actual mystery boxes where they put stuff like this, very expensive stuff where the buyer actually gets a return from the box. Doing this usually brings the buyer back to their services. Then they can, you know, with all the previous buyers that they have, all the PO boxes, they can send that next buyer absolute crap, which does happen. I do get lots of dark web mystery boxes that end up in this house. They don't have anything in it. The infamous story where I get two pillows that smell like urine. That comes from a vendor. I don't remember the vendor's name, but I got scammed. And you know, I'm pretty sure I probably bought off that vendor another time and he probably gave me something good. Getting from a dark web vendor is really risky because for example, if they have lots of good reviews, then I'm usually going to buy off them. The first time I get off a new vendor, I usually get something good because then they send me back to them. Then they give me something bad. Usually the human gambling instinct kicks in and then I'll be like, you know what? I got something good, I got something bad. Maybe if I try again, I might get something great. Who knows? Or maybe I might get something worse, who knows? But you get another mystery box and nine times out of 10, it's usually working in the seller's favor because it has to have a return of investment. I'll tell you right now, I can't pay for iPads, iPhones, iPods for all of my videos and make a return. I can't, I just can't, I genuinely can't. I pay simply $200 for the mystery box 
and whatever comes inside the mystery box, I record a video and I upload it on YouTube. But return of investment, basically these sellers, they spend just enough less money and then sell it for just the right price and then they make a return. Sometimes they do give wins to the buyers because they want the buyers to keep coming back. But realistically, what's stopping them from putting $150 worth of items inside a mystery box and selling it for $300? They just doubled their money. To be honest, if somebody paid $300 for a mystery box and opened up all these things that added up to the price of $150, they'd be pretty happy. However, like I said, times it does add up to be stuff like this. I don't know how much an iPad mini goes for. I don't even know what color it is. It's a freaking pink one. It's a pink one. It's a pink one, to be honest. This is included in the handout. This is a pink iPad mini. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want this. Something constructive, something that actually keeps you engaged in these videos, and you can get this in a handout. Basically, everything that I pulled from here on out, I don't wanna keep telling you guys about the handout because some people are like, crypto, that's really repetitive and that's really annoying. Constructive criticism, comment section, let a boy know. Next thing that we have inside here, we've got another Dybbuk box and... Something's inside there. Barely. We've got another Dybbuk box here with something inside here. I'm gonna save this for later when I get the heat gun. And I don't have gloves on. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, like you know how when I took off these gloves over here, when I took them off, I had all those powder, powdery thingy on my hand that was getting on the wrap of the iPad. Why, why did they put powder inside the glove? What's the point of that? We've got another paper over here. It's stapled. In World Wide Web, Hyperlinks. In World Wide Web hyperlinks, we saw Hillary Clinton-like hatred for pre-adolescent security hackers. More on 8chan. 8kun. Find the thread. In World Wide Web hyperlinks, we saw Hillary Clinton-like hatred for pre-adolescent security hackers. More on 8chan. 8kun. Find the thread. Hillary Clinton-like hatred. I'm a Canadian, I don't even know what Hillary Clinton-like hatred is. More on 8chan, 8 con find the thread. I have never been more confused in my life by looking at this paper, but we do have another paper attached to it. And this paper here says, credit freeze, credit freeze. Oh boy, and I think there's a link on the top. Oh, that's not a link. It says, coming soon for you, coming soon for you, coming soon for you coming soon. That sounds like a really, really hyped up movie. It sounds like It's Chapter 3 is coming out. It says on the bottom, it says Black Web, Black Web, Black Web, Black Web, Black Web, Black Web, Black. Again, I don't know. I have no idea what the heck this is, but we have Credit Freeze over here. A Credit Freeze. A Credit Freeze. Credit Freeze. Please define a Credit Freeze for me in the comment section. I'm sure somebody will because I feel kind of stupid right now. Freezing your credit. Self-explanatory. <laughs> Right? Credit freeze. So, uh, I don't know what these two papers signify. This is the most cryptic shit I have ever seen. This one here says something about Hillary Clinton-like hatred. That's some really weird tongue twister. Let's try saying that a thousand times. And we have something here that says, uh, credit freeze. And freeze is highlighted. And they even use emojis. But we're gonna take these and stick these to my left. Definitely to the left because they could be a little bit cryptic. I don't know what they mean. The next thing that we're gonna be pulling out of the dark web mystery box is... Clothing like thingy. We're gonna take it and just here. There we go Bear hugs it's freaking baby clothes There's something in the bottom over here. We have some lipstick inside here some sort of lipstick Little rubbery on this side uh, on this side here. It's a little rubbery too. Oh Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the problem with me getting all these freaking toys, these vibrating toys from the deep and dark web, from a dark web box. It honestly makes me think that all these people are freaking working together. How do you turn this off? It makes me think that all these people are genuinely working together because I, I get all these items from dark web mystery boxes. Listen to this. 
this is a tune, you know what I mean? This stuff here can make somebody's day, if you know what I mean. Oh, I pressed it again and it turned off, but I genuinely think this is one of the greatest, <laughs> one of the greatest stuff that's ever sent from a dark web mystery box. Uh, me personally, you know, like like when I when I get this stuff from a mystery box, I think my reactions earlier were a lot funnier because I didn't know what the hell they were, but now it's like anything that vibrates on this table, I just sanitize this table completely, man. I'm sorry, my face gets red even when I talk about it. I'm so sorry, but I, I do have this little item here and we're gonna take it and stick it to the left. Literally everybody in the comments section, like whenever I get it, they all call me completely idiotic. Some people are like, haha, crypto, that's funny, but people call me an idiot most of the time. Like I don't know what I'm looking at until it turns, <laughs> until it turns on, like I have no idea. I have no clue. I can't believe we had an iPad inside the dark web mystery box here. By the way, that thing there looks really freaking gross. It's not like I didn't know that looks gross and it's like, oh, haha, I'm gonna notice it at the last second. The reason why I don't pick up the gross things in the beginning of the video is because once I kind of like start smelling something gross or see something gross, you guys have seen the videos. I start acting like the video completely ends, you know? I can't perform anymore. So I know that smells bad. It looks really freaking bad. I know that's in there and I'm gonna be saving that for the last item. Some people are like, crypto, that's too obvious that you're saving that for the last item, but so we're gonna take out everything else other than that and we're gonna put this to the left. Stick around if you guys wanna see it. If not, the end of the video is basically gonna be me reacting to whatever is inside there, which is usually my stomach not being able to handle it. So basically, if you guys can't handle it, you guys can leave the video after I review all these items and save that for the people with the tough stomach. But inside there, we have this little machine thingy and I don't know what the heck this is, but if you guys do know, you guys can tell me down below in the comment section. Digital multimeter, work pro. It says digital multimeter right over here, work pro. I don't know, I don't know. It says digital multimeter right over here. I'm sure that's probably what it is, but what's the purpose of this? Let me know in the comment section. Why would I get it in the dark web mystery box? Maybe you guys would know more than I do. Inside we have two, we have two nuts. <laughs> I just flicked you in the nuts. The dark web mystery boxes, man, I have to stop buying them. I genuinely think if I counted up all my receipts from the dark web mystery boxes, like all the Bitcoin I possibly spent on it, by the way, Bitcoin being at an all time high, I really don't want to know what I paid for every dark web mystery box added together. Because for the people that don't know, yes, you have to pay for a mystery box or anything on the deep and dark web with a cryptocurrency. And usually it's Bitcoin. So <laughs> I spent so much money on these dark web boxes, so much Bitcoin on it. And basically once you send like zero point, whatever, whatever, whatever Bitcoin, Bitcoin, that can fluctuate in value. Some person back then spent 10,000 Bitcoins on two medium pizzas. That back then I think was like $20 American or like 10 to $20 American. 10,000 Bitcoins today is worth this much money in 2021 at this time and date. Take that as a grain of salt. I don't wanna know how much I paid for these mystery boxes. I never wanna know how much I paid for these mystery boxes. Maybe somebody can fact check it, but we have two nuts <laughs> here. I don't know how that completely got off topic. Two nuts, I don't know what kind of nuts these are. You guys can tell me down below. We have a pair of glasses from the deep and dark web and these are very disgustingly blurry reading glasses. Man, clean your glasses. They're very, very blurry. I don't know if they're just blurry because I can't see with them, but... Oh wow, okay, okay, okay. They're really clear up front. Is that how glasses work? Okay, I'm putting them on. They're really hurting my eyes and I realize they're from a dark web mystery box and I always condone not going on the dark web or doing dark web shit and I'm putting on dark web glasses. So I'm gonna take those off. But how do glasses work? Is this supposed to be like close up? Because from far, it's really freaking blurry, but from close, it's like, you know, nice and clear. Oh, we have a jewel inside the mystery box. Ah, usually you have to hit the jewel two times to see what the battery life is on it. But if it doesn't do anything, then the battery is dead. I'm not the biggest fan of jewel. I'm not the biggest fan of like nicotine vapes. You don't really know because for example, I I'm not gonna speak so much about cigarettes, but that stuff has been around for far too long. Like really long. We know it's bad for us. This stuff, I don't think there's like studies to see what's gonna happen in 20 years. We have no data to see what's gonna happen in 20 years if you start taking this stuff. So I might wait like 20, 30 years to see like, oh, hey, what about the people that started smoking 20 years ago? What happened to them now? How do they look like? What do their lungs look like? What are they doing? I don't want it. We do have a prong looking like device here. This is definitely not a Canadian plug, I'll tell you that, or a US plug. That's what the bottom of it looks like. So that was all of the items that was inside the dark web mystery box. We had the password there that says 0103. That was the password to the Samsung. And we have this item inside the dark web mystery box. The bad news is it smells really freaking bad, but the good news is that to be honest, I, I, I it's not like through the bag. It's not killing me through the bag. So I can show you guys what the hell it is. I just, oh, it's sticky. Oh, it's sticky. <laughs> Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to get a good glimpse for, I'm just trying to get a good glimpse for everybody that wants to see it. If you guys wanna know, if you guys do, oh my God, oh, there's blood, there's blood. <laughs> smells catching up. 
<coughs> if you guys want Shit. Oh, it's happening again. If you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to Crypto and WO if you haven't done so already, and put on the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. If you guys want to see more videos where I react like this, press one of the two videos that appeared on the screen and you should have a great experience just like this video. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web. <laughs>